Well, I'm deciding to do it again. You guys have been asking me to do a movement tutorial, so I will be going over a bunch of things that you guys probably do not know and that you guys probably should know. So if you guys are new to the game and you want to know how to do movement and just know how to be a movement god in general, then this is the video for you. And don't get the term movement god mixed up with anything. I'm not trying to make you a fucking TikTok star or anything. I just don't want you guys walking around looking like my random teammates of every ranked game I've ever played. So if you guys want to have some common sense and know what to do and how to actually play the game the proper way this video is just for you if you guys do watch through the video i really appreciate that and i'm pretty sure you'd appreciate it as well here is the movement guide you guys have been asking me for so here you go enjoy the video okay so most of you already know that in the real game the movement is pretty much chopped they bugged it out so whenever you slide cancel and you try to run tax sprint after you slide cancel you can't fucking run for like 10 seconds so it's pretty fucked so this movement tutorial is basically for when they actually decide to put their fucking balls in their pants and fix the game we're just going to be going over a bunch of movement tactics and you know the basics first so if you guys do have any questions about anything go ahead and drop a comment for me i do respond in heart every single comment that people comment on my videos all right but without further ado what i think personally is the best right now but it's also a pro and a con the only thing is you cannot dolphin dive is to go into gameplay and make it to slide only it, i feel like it gives it the most less input delay in terms of like the slide cancel so like when you slide cancel like you can shoot immediately but but when you have the dive on it actually like takes a while for you to shoot like you could feel a little delay before the slide cancel and the shooting and if you guys know in the beta if you played the beta uh after you slide canceled it took a while before you could like get up and start running again oh this is also late but i forgot to mention that you do not have to press slide slide jump anymore all you have to do is press the slide button and then jump so literally just press circle and then x or whatever you use and it literally cancels it but in this game you can start pretty much running immediately also, I would recommend turning tack stance off because who the fuck is going to use that? Every time you try to slide or something and aim, it just tack stances anyway. So I'd probably turn that off in the settings. I do prefer to actually keep the dolphin dive on myself just because I feel like it's really useful if you're trying to get down a hill or get away or something, you know? It's not really a problem, so I'd recommend turning that on. Oh, and if you already know some of these things, do feel free to skip through the video. And I will be leaving everything timestamped, so yeah, there you go. Another thing I want to talk about that nobody's probably going to tell you about or talk about is the usefulness of dolphin diving dolphin diving is probably the most useful thing in the game i had one of my friends tell me <clears throat> manny uh, <clears throat> that dolphin diving is garbage and that he's never gonna use it but you know I, it has its pros and its cons but it has mostly pros like bro if i wanted to dive all the way from this ledge to damn near that car i could do it look at this shit okay right fucking here but if you were to just run off you would only make it about right there if I didn't like, you know, do the little b-hop thingy that. But yeah, dolphin diving is probably the most useful mechanic in my in my opinion because I can literally go from point A to point B, get up in a millisecond and run. I don't know why people don't dolphin dive as much. Whenever I'm running away from a fight or if someone's chasing me, I do my best to get away by dolphin diving off a high ledge or on a slope or anything just to get away in general it, it's really useful so yeah that's pretty much it for the dolphin diving and the slide canceling section all right second thing is snaking snaking is really important in this game considering mw2 made everybody a pussy so this is probably the only thing you can use against pussies so this is what i want to teach you i want to teach you snaking if you're on keyboard and you're trying to snake buddy you better find a video uh there is a way to snake on keyboard i just don't know how because i'm not a keyboard player like that so if you want to know how to snake on keyboard just look up a separate video and then you can come back and watch this one okay snaking is really simplistic all you have to do is press your lay down button or crouch button and just lay down right but you want to run at the same exact time so what i want you to do is pull your left stick up and then back at the same time as you spamming the crouch or lay down button so this is what it looks like in fast motion and when you do snake you can also go left and right like you can strafe while snaking so if you want to do this you know just so you're not as predictable and your head is not popping up in the same exact spot as it was so from the enemy point of view they're probably just looking at you right here uh fucking they don't know which you know and they're just they're either gonna panic or they're gonna try to rush you bro and the, the good thing about snaking is you can see if they're running or not like they can't see you but you can see them perfectly so if they're gonna push up then you could just they won't expect it and also if they just spraying and shit just keep snaking bro they'll run out of bullets and then you can either pop out or if they're close enough 
just shoot them. There's nothing really more to snaking that I can really sh tell you that I know myself. And if you think there is, just go ahead and look up another video. I don't know. Anyways, that's enough for the snaking section. So, yeah. This one's a little bit more advanced. I wouldn't say super duper advanced, but it really works. So, you guys all know, you guys all seen Rebirth Demons, Rebirth Island guys, or just movement kids in general. They tend to go left, right, spinny doop, spinny doop, slide cancel, yeah. Some of this is actually pretty useful. It actually does work. The only thing that we do not agree with is just the extra all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But but yeah, I call this move the left, right. Okay, so what you wanna do, it, and if you see people spin and shit, if you see me spin while doing this shit, it's for a reason. Like if I'm seriously trying to kill somebody and not going for a clip, and you see me like spin mid gunfight or some shit, it's for a reason. It's because you can just easily change direction when you fucking do this. Easily change direction. That's why I switched to high sense, because I can just, you know? Because if you go low sense, you're just going to look like this. So that's why I play high sense. I can just switch direction if I want, you know? And, it, and to the enemy screen, I'm just looking like they're trying to shoot me. They're like... And as a clip that I've shown you, you can... Uh, it's pretty much proof that they literally do that. They just fucking... And I will show a bunch of clips so you guys don't think I'm fucking stupid. Fuck am I getting hit by? <laughs> I wanna watch this kill cat. I'm so Fuck glad he everyone. killed me. Oh my fucking god! So yeah, I feel like fucking Barry Allen when I'm doing this move. I'm over here dodging bullets. If someone's up here shooting at you, you can it's e it's even easier because they're from a distance and they don't get as much aim assist. So you can just fucking add a slide cancel into it. Don't forget to add the slide cancel. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the left right move. On to the next. Let's talk about jumping. Jumping and b hopping in general is just useful. Even if you can't do it twice, if there's someone behind a corner or you know exactly where they are, you want to always you know b-hop them even though you can't do it twice like you usually could do you know b-hop twice it's still useful bro if, if you know someone is in a specific area like this corner you always want to jump shot them you go past their frame fam you go past their frame faster than they can even react it is the most useful one of the most useful things besides um slide canceling itself in this video game or in any call of duty in general jump shotting is a big key to uh winning little gunfights in close quarters because if you're trying to jump shot somebody from far away, it's just not going to work. They're just going to fucking beam you because they can see you perfectly in their frame. But if someone were to be right here and you were to, you know, jump past them, they'll probably still be uh, fucking looking right here. And by the time you're shooting at them, they'll be turning and they'll already be dead. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Always be hop corners no matter what. Or if you want to, you could slide cancel. But be hopping is just more effective in general because you can just be hop into a slide cancel. You can't slide cancel into a b-hop so yeah just remember that you can b-hop into a slide cancel you cannot slide cancel into a b-hop it's just it's just the opposite it just does not work so keep that in mind for that that's enough for the jumping on to the next one okay right now i will be going over my settings you guys are probably asking like oh he's got a movement guide but no settings yes read the title buddy i have everything you could ever need these are the games about and fuck I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart this part all right okay like i was saying i will be going over my settings uh you guys can copy every single one of these if you want the settings that i have are basically for any pc i have a good pc and i still run low settings so i would first of all i would recommend playing full screen exclusive uh, I do run borderless personally just because I don't like uh, tabbing out every two seconds and my whole screen turning black. But if you don't mind, then yeah, do you. It gives you the most performance possible when you play full screen exclusive. So yeah, keep that in mind. Also, for the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, always have this on plus boost. It's just a given. Um, everything else, just put on off and low. Uh, for the quality section, you can just copy through all these. This is for any PC. Like I said, I have damn near everything on low. And I have a good PC, so yeah. View, I play 120, personally. So, 
yeah also put affected for your ads it makes it to where it doesn't fucking zoom up to uh adfov when you aim in and for your uh, weapon field of view i would put wide it makes your gun smaller and you got more space in your screen as you can tell on the picture uh in the example always have your first person camera movement on least which is 50 percent so your uh your whole screen is not shaking and shit when you're moving around and yeah that's pretty much it for the uh the graphic settings for the audio settings it's just all based off your headset bro it's just common sense it's just headset is your own specific stuff this is all your personal shit but yeah, if you want to know my uh, color settings, these are my colors that I use. And yeah, I bet you guys didn't think I would do it, but what settings video would be... Wow, I don't even know what the hell... You know what? <clears throat> but what would a settings video be without me showing you my controller settings? I did switch back to max sensitivity. So if you guys did not know, yeah, I play 2020 with a 1.40 low zoom. So if you ever see me flick around or just aim fast to the left or the right in general, you know why. I play dynamic, response curve, um transitioning and in instant i play block ops aim assist block ops aim assist is really good for me at least personally um i do run automatic tax sprint if you guys don't have automatic tax sprint on i don't you're a bot if you don't want to be labeled as a bot turn it on bro what are you doing you can just copy through all these if you guys want i'm not gonna go through all these extra shits if you guys did not know which most of you do if you keep up with me and just know me in general i do play stick and move i've been playing stick and move since modern warfare 2019 Personally, it's the best, uh, you know, set out or layout for me. I jump with my right stick. Jumping with right stick is really good for me. I love it. And then I do also have a scuff reflex. So I do have four paddles. So every single one of these buttons are binded to a paddle. So yeah, that's why I, I'm able to do most of the shit I'm able to do. I would recommend using paddles or buying a scuff if you have the money. So yeah, it's a great investment if you really do love video games and you want to be better. For my dead zone, I do run a 7-7. Seven, seven. I run a 7-7 seven, seven in damn near every single game. I just love the number, I guess. And yeah, I don't know what else I can show you. I do not play flipped. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, watch all the way through. And if you were listening to me right now, go ahead and drop a monkey balls down in the comment section. And I will instantly heart you because I know you watched through my entire video. And thank you. I appreciate you. And I hope these settings helped you out and these graphics and all the movement tutorial, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the rest of the franchise. Enjoy the rest of y'all days or nights. I'm out. Peace.